I'm not sure what's wrong, but he can't get the kite relaunched. We're about a mile out. It's a south-southeast wind. He has a 12-meter kite that he cannot get relaunched. So we're going to roll the bar up and use the kite as a sail to sail back to shore. He has to roll up his bar and get to his leading edge. Then he can flip the kite over and rest for a period. Once he gets to that tip, we can flip the kite and turn it into a sail. Luigi the lifeguard just paddled out a mile to help us. If he can get to the middle of the leading edge, he can rest. Once he's got his wind back, he can move to the wing tip and turn the kite to his sail. On a south-southeast wind, he's got to get to the port side and grab the starboard bridle to create the sail. Now all he has to do is just lay on that back wing tip and hold that bridle up and use that kite as a sail to come back to shore. He has to get more weight to the back of the wing tip. In this shot here you can see how the kite is starting to come up like a sail. But he's still a little too close to that center strut. He needs to move back. And you have to understand that we've been out here for over an hour so far, so you know that he's completely exhausted. He's finally got it up more in a sail position, and we're starting to make our way back. So one of the hazards of a side shore wind is if you fall, you don't come back to shore. You either go north or south, especially in Del Rey. Another option would be to uh, deflate the leading edge. The struts should still be inflated. You could use those as flotation to swim back to shore. This is a good example of why every kite surfer should know how to do a deep water pack down, how to roll up their bar, and how to turn their kite into a sail to navigate back to the shoreline safely. Because you never know when you're going to have a catastrophic equipment failure. So be ready and be safe. Your biggest enemy when something like this happens is panic. So try to stay calm, think logically, remember your training, and just go through the steps and get yourself back. And you got to remember if you're coming into some shore break or waves, and you've got all those lines, you got to make sure that you get careful that you don't get all wrapped up. So another lifeguard's paddled out, and it looks like we're almost in. We've got a couple hundred feet to go, and I think everything's going to work out fine. Everybody's safe, nobody drowned, and we got all the equipment back. So I would have to say that's a good day. Now I'm going to try to tack my way back up to the south side.